Xbox versus PlayStation. Starting off with the Xbox. Xbox was the first console to use a hard drive for storage. It came with an 8 gigabyte hard drive. The first Xbox was released in North America on November 15th, 2001. The second Xbox, the Xbox 360, was released four years later in 2005. Original Xbox controllers designed by Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. When it launched in 2001, the original price tag for the Xbox was 299 US dollars. Pretty pricey considering today you can get an Xbox for just 249 dollars. Xbox One runs on at least 300,000 servers. Xbox is a pretty popular video game console worldwide. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about our opinions on Xbox. So, so what what what's so, what in your opinion is so good about the Xbox? Well, what I like about the Xbox is the charging cables. What I like about it is that you have a charger box that you can set your controllers with the battery in them straight on the charger. And the charger, or at least the one I have, changes from green to red if it's your battery's dead. So then it, one, it'll notify you once your battery's good because the light will turn green. And also, um, what I notice on the PlayStation is that you have to have an annoying cord plugged straight into the PlayStation. Um, but on the Xbox, you can just go grab some batteries and throw them in. Yeah, but I get why you would have to grab some batteries and throw in, and I, that, I get why that sounds cool. But the good thing about the PlayStation cord is that you don't you don't always have to plug it in. You can you can always you can have it just laying by you. So you could if if your controller says low battery, you can quickly pick it up, pick it up and pull it in and put it in. But with the Xbox, if your controller dies, you can't hide around or anything. But be, so you would have to go run out into your like kitchen or something or wherever you have your batteries you grab like what is it two of them and throw them in there and by the time you probably put them in there you'd probably be dead well um i i mean no but yes i keep all my batteries right next to my xbox and um so when my controller dies i take off the cover i pull out the batteries yeah, but here's the thing. You have to take off a cover. The PlayStation, you can just grab a cord, throw it in. Yeah, except I just have to take out the battery, throw it on the charger, take out the two AA batteries, throw and also, them in. What do you do when, when you, like, don't have batteries? You just grab, you just chuck that controller across the room and just grab a different one? I, I mean, I grab it, and I set it off to the side, and then I just grab another controller. Okay. But with PlayStation, I have two controllers, but my, but my second one, it's modded out, so it has paddles, and it has customizable triggers and everything so when you try and use a the normal PlayStation controller without the paddles and stuff you, your fingers you, it will slip and your fingers go like and you try and jump or if like whatever you have your paddle set to it, you'll go to jump but it it doesn't do it because there's no paddles you have to actually use the buttons on the side yeah but the good thing with the with the actual uh playstation controller that's modded out and it's also built for the playstation Okay. So, since it's built for the PlayStation, you can you can easily pair it to it. Okay. So I have a question. What is your favorite part about the Xbox? My favorite part about the Xbox, I don't have much, but I have like I have about two. So, I would say that about probably I would say the sleek design of it, like how it kind of how it's black so it's like it kind of just fits it's like square and it's black so it kind of fits into different spaces mm -hmm. so and it also looks like it's not really there and also when it when it's not when it's not on it's it, it just it, when it's not on it 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 kind of camouflages it so you so you can't see it but with the playstation i i i like how it has like the modern looking thing with the sharp edges and the white and black yeah i do like that except for the xbox i think it's pretty cool because um 
you the Xbox. I mean, it can be big, but actually, the Xbox mini fridge is what I like to call it. Um, we, um, really, the Xbox mini fridge, it's, to me, it doesn't seem as big as the, as the PlayStation 5. Now, I don't own a PlayStation 5, but I have some friends that do, and when I look at it, their PlayStation 5 takes up a lot of room, where an Xbox, you can just tuck it in a corner. I will tell you one thing that I don't normally tell a lot of people. It's one flaw with the PlayStation 5. What? The one flaw is if you have it vertical, like up and down, it can actually drag down the thermal paste because of the uh, the gravity. But that also happens with the Xbox. But, but the, here the thing is, I don't know if you do or not, but you don't have the option to turn your Xbox to the side. The PlayStation I, 5 does. Oh, I do. Okay. No, on my shelf... I have a shelf where my Xbox used to go. I had an Xbox Series, um, I had an Xbox at Series, I had an Xbox Series X? No, I had an Xbox One S, and it sat on that shelf, and then a couple Christmases ago, I got the Xbox Series X, um, and it's supposed to sit upright like a mini fridge. But um, we don't have enough room for that on our shelf. So really what we did was we just grabbed the Xbox and turned it sideways. And we sat it on the shelf. And it's fine. It hasn't messed up at all. Yeah. So if you think Xbox is so good, if you think Xbox is so good, then why don't I tell you some facts about PlayStation? Okay, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, let's so, go. So the PlayStation hard drive features include a solid state drive customized for high speed data streaming to be able to perform significant improvements in storage and performance. An AMD GPU capable of outstanding 4K resolution display and an amazing 120 frames per second. A hardware accelerator 3D audio effects a few other features include a dual sense controller with haptic feedback backwards compatibility with most PlayStation 4 and 5 VR games. Uh, so now we're going to be talking about our PlayStation opinions. opinions. So Parker, what do you think about the PlayStation? Now, I do say I do like the PlayStation's controllers, their looks. I don't like the feel on my hands. And to me, they don't make sense, but a PlayStation player would probably say the same thing about an Xbox. Yeah. yeah. So, I, exactly. I would say that the Xbox controller, it looks cool, but I just don't like the thumbstick placements because it feels like I have to have my thumbs like this and it hurts my thumbs. Same with the Nintendo Switch, though. Yeah. Now, I do like the Xbox because of the thumb placements, but um, that's just my opinion. I don't know about everyone. So, yeah. So, I, what I like about the PlayStation is that you have, so, like, like I stated, you have three, so, you have headphones for the PlayStation, they're, they're, they have 3D audio, so, like, if someone's above you can hear that audio, like, from where it is, so it'll cut out some parts of the speaker to put it in the back, or, like, so you have, like, that 3D space, so it kind of feels like you're in the thing, and also, Xbox games... I just learned this, but they're also on the Oculus now. Yeah. But the PlayStation has a built VR for it that you have crazy things. Like the PlayStation VR 2, you have actual fans on the headset so that when it w- wind blows by, you can feel that on your face. And like if it gets hot, the headset has like little heat pads around you. So you can like feel if that gets hot. It, it And it, the graphics are just crazy. It's like... It's amazing graphics on a VR headset, and the the they have hand tracking, so like it can track your hands. So like if you set down the controllers, you can like you can move around your hands. Mm-hmm. But like the controllers are super responsive, and unlike like any other VR headset, you can let go of the controllers without them dropping because they have rings around your hands, mm-hmm. and the controls are super nice. Yeah, but also it's like if you. If you wanted to, like, say, take your Xbox, or not Xbox controller, if you want to take your PlayStation controller, hook it up to your phone, you can. I know you can do that with the, with the, uh, 
Xbox controller, but I feel like it just doesn't disconnect as much as it the Xbox does. Because whenever I would hook up an Xbox controller to my phone, it, it like almost immediately disconnected. Mm. Yeah. So I've heard that um the Oculus has actually added a play, uh, Xbox app where you can actually play Xbox games yeah, on your. Yeah, you can game. except. They're still working it out, so it's not very good. Yeah. But it's still like it's still something. Yeah. So what I what I lo- liked about like I me personally I've never played the PlayStation VR, but I've heard so many good reviews about it. I saw so many good reviews about it. And like, I just feel like the PlayStation Five is built so well. Yeah, so do you know the price of a PlayStation? $500. Wow. Because the Xbox Series X cost only $249. Yeah, but listen to this. The PlayStation 5 is newer, has better resolution, better graphics, and better servers. True. Yes, that is true. But also, apparently, I saw this YouTube video on Xbox. Apparently, they did make, like, it came out with a new controller, like, pretty recently that had... It, it, you could like discon, like you could take it off the controller slot, and it's made by Xbox, so you can like, it's like a little controller thing. It's kind of like the Nintendo Switch, but it has a controller, like handles, and then you can also take it out and like attach it to like a stand from your phone that it comes with, and you can play it on your phone with like this. Oh, like that's it. cool. Yeah. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, but now I think we should talk about our favorite video games and exclusives from it. Oh yeah. From, like, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Oh, yeah. So, um, I like, um, Farming Sim 22 on the Xbox. I, I, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. You're gonna have to tell me about it. So, Farming Sim 22 is a game where you're a farmer. I know it doesn't sound the most fun. Yeah. But, they, it has an in-game mod hub. Where you can download like farm malls, John Deere's, Model A's. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, well, I thought about the Xbox was that they have way too many game passes. Like it's crazy. But so and they don't they own rights to Halo? I don't know about that. Yeah, they do because they. Didn't they buy? Yeah, they bought rights to Halo. That's why they have it on it. So, with the PlayStation, though, the, and I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation VR real quick. You have, uh, although the games are like sixty dollars each, which is kind of expensive, but they're 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 meant for the VR, and it's like crazy freaking games. Like Horizon Four, it's a VR game. You have, it basically, it's like it's like a robotic wilderness game almost. So you have like these robotic dinosaurs and like you're trying to you're trying to escape the island or I'm pretty sure. So like it has it's so cool the controller has like very realistic vibration. So like if you're you're picking up a mountain like this, then it's like vibrating every single time you hit it. And like you have to actually like and it, and then basically it's it's like you have to actually pull up to like with a lot with a lot more strength. You have to actually pull up to be able to do it because the controller is a little bit heavy on purpose to make it feel more like real so you're you're actually holding something okay yeah i think that's pretty cool so um yeah the xbox is so my favorite i have a lot of xbox games like i play forza um now actually i don't play forza four or five I play the actual Xbox One disc Forza. Mm-hmm. I just love it a lot more. I I I don't know what a lot of games on the Xbox are. All I know is that I wish that they had Halo Infinite on PlayStation because that's my favorite game. I love that game. Because when I because when I rent a rise, that's the only game I would play. It's so fun. And also, Just Cause Four. It's it's basically like GTA but better. It is so fun. I love it. Mm. So, um, yeah, that seems like a lot of fun. So, to me, um, 
Um, I have a lot of games. Like, Liam, I'm sure you know of Overcooked. Overcooked, you know about that? Yeah, that was, that, I remember that in STEM, that was fun. Well, guess what? They have it on Xbox? Yeah, they do. Uh, well, I like, you have NBA 4, or I'm pretty sure it's called NBA 4 on PlayStation. It's a basketball game, and they also have it on VR. So, like, you can, you can, like, you can actually, like, be on VR. You could be, like, tossing around a, a basketball in, like, real life, and you can, like, jump to actually shoot it. And, cool. and also, there's different controllers for, like, the actual controller. And also, what I like about the PlayStation VR, you can hook your controller up to the VR headset. So, you could be playing, like, say, the NBA game, and you could be, like, moving around with the controller be in, but be looking around with your uh, VR headset. And also, there's racing games on there that you hook up, that you have to hook up your controllers, your actual controller to, and your VR headset. So, like, you can be racing, you could be looking around, still controlling with your controller, though. Yeah, that sounds like fun. So, I think that's going to be it for our podcast. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.